Now, so far in all of our examples, we have only looked at traits that are affected by two alleles, a dominant and a recessive. However, there are some traits that have more than two possible alleles, and these are called multiple alleles. Since there are more than two alleles involved, we cannot just use upper and lowercase letters. Instead, we use a capital letter with superscripts to identify the different alleles. Let's look at an example to better understand. Cats can have lots of different colors of fur. To simplify our example, we'll just use four colors. Let's say black fur is dominant to red, which is dominant to yellow, which is dominant to white. A black cat is crossed with a red cat, and they have 10 kittens, three black, five red, and two white. What are the genotypes of the parents? First, let's look at what genotypes are possible for each fur color. Even though multiple alleles are involved, each cat will still only get two, one from each parent. For black fur, the cat would have an allele for black fur. We'll show this with a capital F and a B superscript. It could be homozygous for the black allele, or since it is dominant, it might be heterozygous with the red, yellow, or white alleles. For red fur, the cat could be homozygous red or heterozygous with the alleles it is dominant over, yellow and white. For yellow fur, the cat could be homozygous yellow or heterozygous with a white allele, the only allele yellow is dominant over. White is recessive to all the other colors. So for white fur, the cat has to be homozygous white. Because the parent cats were black and red, they could be any of these possible genotypes. The black and red kitten genotypes are also unsure right now. The key to this question are those white kittens. The white kittens have to be homozygous white. For them to get two white alleles, they must have gotten one from each parent cat. So the black cat is heterozygous black and white, and the red cat is heterozygous red and white. We'll look at another example. In fruit flies, let's say brown eyes are dominant to white and red are dominant to both brown and white. A red-eyed fruit fly with a heterozygous red and brown genotype is crossed with one with white eyes. What possible eye colors will their offspring have? Well, let's plug them into a Punnett square. The offspring will either have red or brown eyes. <laughs>